Aloha everyone, welcome back to my channel, my little green birds. So, in today's video, what I'm going to be going over is not really like a skincare haul as much, but it's more... Well, there is, there is a little skincare and everything because it's me, but there um, we're going to go over some of the things that I bought and all um some of the lo like the more local things that people always buy okay and also um yeah well this you guys are just gonna see what i bought basically if this is not too much of a, like a special over the top video or anything like that that's another video that i will be editing and working on <laughs> about the place where we stayed um on the big island and our little adventure and when we were in oahu so if you guys are looking forward to seeing what i have to show you guys then stay tuned definitely telling me wow you definitely got tan so I feel like I probably look a little more like Hawaiian um, definitely very Blasian looking um, probably like Filipino or Thai or whatever because I got I have had hell people say oh are you half Japanese and half Italian and I'm like mm, no <laughs> but anyways but yeah so what I'm gonna be going over you guys is um is some of the stuff that I got while on vacation and everything so of course when we stopped in Oahu um got definitely stopped by Bloomingdale's because it's like it's totally worth going to all of these stores um on Oahu and also on the Big Island because a lot of the stuff that they have is literally limited edition or only sold in Hawaii so yeah so we're gonna get some of this started and whatnot um now if you guys have seen my rant video and everything on Instagram it's actually really unbelievably hard to find Hawaiian made skincare for the face skincare for the body totally different story but more so for the face is very hard even though I did all my research and everything on the Big Island everything is just spread so far apart from everything um, like where we were um, like, I believe, like, the biggest population on the Big Island, like, the biggest city on the Big Island is, um, I believe is, of course, it's Kona and everything, but Hilo, I believe, would be the second biggest, but the, but the biggest pop city population, it has about 30,000 people, and that is about an hour drive from where we were. We say that the Fairmont Orchid on the Big Island, and that was just a breathtaking experience all in its own. Um, but yeah, I was literally driving like pretty much 40 minute drive for coffee. <laughs> Because you guys already know, if you guys really know me, like, I am all about my damn coffee. I do not want pedestrian Starbucks, which, of course, was unfortunately everywhere and everything. But the really good thing is, is that Kona coffee is just, oh my god, it's splendid. It is absolutely amazing and wonderful. I want to say, like, um, one of the places that had the biggest population, it was really interesting. Um, I... I am I know I'm gonna butcher this the name of it, but I think it's called Kahalu K How. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um that area is very touristy as well. Um it was really fun and interesting because like it, you have to look for certain parts to really get 
more of that Polynesian culture going on. And also that is where it rains pretty often from what I was told, from what we were told when we were there, the husband and I. Um, we visited a coffee farm and everything and oh my god, it was absolutely amazing. But it was pretty crazy driving up a damn mountain just to get to this coffee farm because we were at a very high elevation, um, um, high elevation place or altitude, whatever you want to call it. But anyways, I'm totally getting sidetracked and everything. But um, so one of the things I just pulled out of that Bloomingdale's um, limited edition bag is that now this is sheet mask. This is um, this is by I believe <laughs> I, I I don't even remember the name of this. Um, this is made in Japan. So unfortunately, um, Hawaii is not on the whole sheet mask thing, but this was made especially and it's limited to Hawaii only. Okay, so this one is like, I think it's, I think it's pronounced Abasa or Abhasa Hawaiian face mask um, for gentle hydration. Seven sheet mask X five pouches. So this one is super tropical, and this is Lululun, um, Pu Lululun for girls all over the world, Japanese face mask, but you know what, I don't give a fuck because if this is for women, I want to try it. So um, there will be a totally different video in terms of this product on like, you know, performance wise and everything, so yeah. Oh my god, um, stopping in Oahu was so awesome and amazing. Um, definitely had to visit um, Pearl Harbor because, you know, like historical wise, it is quite awesome and quite amazing um, seeing the Battleship Missouri Memorial and everything and also the USS Memorial. Um, it's quite awesome like a lot of it is for free but if you really wanted to experience the whole full fantasy you pay $75 each person um, and plus security is so tight and strict there I had no idea like they were not letting anyone with a purse not even a bag this big um, be on the premises so it's also a way for them to make money and all um, but each bag pretty much cost five dollars each just to check it in and everything i thought it was really awesome still being there because we were there for about almost three hours in general um could have stayed there pretty much all day and do the full tour which we did not do yeah so i got a bunch of puss cards because um yeah in order to in order to get to this part of um pearl harbor you have to take a boat it's really fun. They give you a free boat ride to it, and it's it's really awesome. And the full fantasy of that was is just really unreal. Um, I love postcards because I write to a lot of my friends that live overseas, not in America, and everything. So you know who you are if you're watching this. You'll receive something in the mail from me. Um, so yeah, love postcards. And then went to this shirt shop like it was so they were so interesting and so all over the place the people that work there the owners um i guess they're called uh crazy shirts or something so these are wooden postcards made in hawaii and i shipped one to myself and it costs what four four dollars four fifty or something like that to ship a wooden postcard to yourself so it's going to have the the whole postage stamping stuff all over it so that was like the reason why it was really cool because like the owner said people actually buy these just for decoration and also just to send to themselves so when they get it in the mail it's like it has like the whole Hawaiian postage and everything. I thought it was really cool. They're literally made out of wood. See? So yeah. So 
that is like some of the postcards that I bought and everything. Um, as you guys already know, I have talked about this before um, on my social media. I have actually pretty sensitive skin when it comes down to the sun and everything. I burn easily. It does not matter how many times I'm sitting here slathering on SPF. If I'm trying to get tan, I am going to get burned. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty annoying. But yes, so I basically bought, um, there's a store called the Island Gourmet Gift Store or Island Gourmet Shop and also it's known as the ABC stores so those cater to Hawaiian like Hawaiian products that can be shipped all around the world basically and they bring the whole Hawaiian fantasy to you from where you are living so I think that's really awesome and it's really amazing so I am definitely gonna be buying a lot of skincare off of that website um, since I do not have full access on being able to be in Hawaii and buy the products so for my uh, because so since I got sunburned and everything on on my back and on my shoulders and all of that and I am tan still um it's pretty itchy of course I am actually allergic to aloe so one of the things that I have been using Okay, so this is by um, Island Soap and Candle Works. I've been using the Hawaiian Botanical um, Lotion. This is the Creamy Coconut. And, um, and I also started using the oils of Aloha. And of course, everyone knows that Aloha means hello. And um, I've been using these two together. So I've been mixing them together. So I would use like five five six drops of this for um and put that in, like in my hand and then I would put like an x amount of this lotion in my hand mix it together okay so um and then put it all over my entire body where I got where I got tan and sunburned um the good thing is is that this is good it says along the side right here natural relief uh, for dry skin, burns, eczema, sunburn, and psoriasis. Um, this is fragrant free. And so this is Kukui oil. Um, I think it's really awesome. All it is, it's just Kukui seed oil and um, malu, Malukana, whatever that is. It's a, it's, a, it's a seed oil. That's all it is, pretty much. And I just use that, and it's really helping um, this has aloe in it, but it is so minute in terms of the ingredients so I can actually use it. I wish I could use pure aloe, but that would literally probably kill me. <laughs> so yeah, I just don't, I just don't mess with that. I'm not messing with that. Oh my god, so I'm obsessed with these soaps right now as well. The, um, Hawaiian Waters, um, so this is like bungalow glow hawaii so these are really awesome i bought like inexpensive ones and i bought more upscale ones so this one mm, my god it smells so good this one is called hawaiian waters ocean bliss i'm like so obsessed with it and this one is the key lime oh my god but this one's my favorite so they're made with um coconut butter and macadamia nut oil and it's a loofah soap so um this is what it looks like. I have a green, uh, the blue one, which is the ocean waters, okay? And then also I have the key lime, but what makes it really interesting, if you flip it over, you can actually see that they sliced um, the loofah um, in in like little quarters, quarter sizes, and um, they pour the soap into it, into the shape of it. So the loofah is already a naturally exfoliating um, sponge basically I mean like it what used to be alive and everything <laughs> from the ocean I mean like that's what a loofah is um, and it's just so interesting like oh my god it's just so amazing I love it and then I bought this other one this one's a little more on the more pricier side this one is the this one's um, by Leslie's Naturals, and this was all of this stuff is made in Hawaii. This stuff that I'm talking about, made in Hawaii. This is made in Hawaii, and all. 
Um, those wooden postcards are made in Hawaii too, not made in China. So this one is on the smaller side. I believe this one was about 10 or $12, whatever how much it was. And these were about like four or $5 each. Absolutely love them. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, and I definitely like this is not for me, but um, I definitely bought this and I'm going to give it to someone. So this is the um, the Island Soap Candle um, and Candle Works. It's just so interesting, like, all these little charms and everything, like, all these keychains. I definitely bought a lot of stuff. And so did the husband. The husband, like, they, these are things that the husband bought for his friends and family and all. Um, all these keychains and everything, I'm like, I'm, like, starting to, like, really obsess over them. And, um, it's pretty warm in California. I believe today is about almost 85 degrees. But compared to being in that humidity <laughs> where I was, Jesus. Oh, my God. My body had to get... Is, it, it had to get used to that and plus um that consistency with like with the necklaces rubbing against the skin and everything it definitely amplified like heat rash on my arms and around my neck but this this stuff really helped reduce it a lot i love these pins oh my gosh like all these pins are so cute like i am like so obsessed with them they were like three dollars each and everything love i like absolutely love the hawaiian culture um i am definitely already planning my next trip and everything but i want to get more familiar with like um we're just finding out more about the Polynesian culture and everything, like, it's just, it's just so amazing, um, and it's actually kind of crazy, like, when I was on Hawaiian Airlines, I was looking at their, at the Hawaiian Airlines magazine, might I add, that is, like, one of the best magazines I've ever read in my entire life, um, and I don't even think you can buy a subscription with them. And if you guys are watching this and if you know that if you can get a subscription with them, please let me know because I cannot find their magazine anywhere and I could not find a link for the life of me to buy their magazine. Um, but there's people that live on the big island like in the danger zones. And I'm just like so fascinated with the fact like you guys are living on the lava that has spewed out like years and years ago. It's like really hardcore hazard to be living over in that area but people are living over there and I think that's like astronomically fascinating. So these are definitely not made in Hawaii but if I can find Hawaiian made incense I am gonna be totally all about that because there's a lot of rituals that they have there but I bought this when I was when the husband and I went to the Bioto um the Bioto uh Buddhist temple and this is like literally awesome and if you just look right here a little picture is gonna pop up and everything there you go and it's just showing you guys what the temple looked like and everything um but yeah i bought this incense while i was there because um i just wanted something that was like pretty cleansing or purifying whatever how i use the incense for um definitely got this uh from the um from the luau that we went to the husband said that i ruined the picture by wearing my sunglasses but i was like well i was not gonna take them off <laughs> so yeah um oh my god that luau was literally everything i freaking love it mm. this one's for a relative and everything <laughs> just women of the islands calendar pretty much Oh my god, and also these cute, these like, these cute Hawaiian, like Hawaii Hello Kitty keychains and everything. Um, a lot of the stuff that we've been finding, like Japanese anime wise, um, it's actually very limited to Hawaii only. So we find it fascinating that the one that some of these ABC stores totally had all of that stuff and just just like impressed with 
all of the stuff that they have there. Oh my gosh, these postcards are so pretty. They're so beautiful. Like old school 1950s status and all. I mean like you can like literally just frame these postcards. So pretty. This is one of my favorite ones right there. And then Aloha Hawaii, 10 vintage art postcards. I love this. Definitely going to frame the stuff that's inside this one. And also some of the ones that I just showed you guys. But yeah. Um, so it would not be right not to get a six pack of Hello Kitty Hawaiian host candy. <laughs> So yeah, this is like so awesome. It comes in this little six pack pouch and they sell them like in, t in eight packs and 10 packs even. So they're so freaking cute and all. This is just so freaking cute. I mean like, come on. Sorry if it has like that little frosty look and everything. I actually put them inside of the refrigerator just to keep them fresh and all. It's pretty warm in California right now, especially where I am in San Rafael in Marin County. And then um, definitely, indefinitely, um, more of the Hawaiian host. I mean, like, oh my god, so awesome. Just a bunch of candy and everything. I'm just like, ugh, I can't. I'm just like a bunch of candy and everything. You guys, I mean, like, I can't right now. This is like literally everything. So yeah, so that's like the end of this little haul and this like little display of things that I got. Um, oh yeah, wait. Oh. So I happened to <laughs> find out that one of the stores on the Big Island actually sells that one of the skincare products that I had to leave behind in Oahu. So yes, um, I found the toner. It is by Honey Girl Organics. And I absolutely love it. It's a facial toner, propolis, rose, and neroli. And it comes in four fluid ounces and it's 95% organic. And I am like obsessed with that. So I am going to be using this toner more for like refreshing my face because it literally smells like everything. Um, I haven't got around to buying the serum yet. Um, the serum smells really awesome and amazing. Um, there's only one ounce of serum in it, so basically, like, I, th I believe it's like $50 or more for the serum and all, um, and all of it's made in Hawaii, and I freaking live for it, but yeah, I will definitely be doing another video when I actually get, like, a huge thing of skincare made in Hawaii. I don't want to order it online, because I want to feel the fantasy of actually buying it in person, because that's how I am. So yeah, with that being said, you guys, oh my god, thank you so much. Thumbs up.